Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so this is Paolo. Um, on this video, we're gonna learn how to set up a dumb HTTP protocol for the Git server. So just a quick recap on the previous video, we set up a local protocol wherein the remote repository is either found on the same host or it could be on the network. So on here, the basics.git is on the same host. It's on, and then the YouTube uh, dash basics uh, local repository here is a clone of that. So if I quickly open this and go remote dash v, you can see that the remote repository is actually uh, this folder, which is the uh, local protocol. So what I'm going to do here is to create a new bare repository, but on being served on a HTTP protocol. So I have Apache currently configured on my machine. This is the directory where the website are being hosted. So if I just open this up, you would see I have the files on this directory being uh, served here on my um, local host. So if you haven't uh, set up Apache before, you could check out my previous video. I'll drop them on the description below to get you started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the current directory that I'm at. I'm going to grab this local repository and create another bare repository on it on the sites folder. So I'm going to open this, create another terminal window. I'm going to say git clone dash dash bear the local repository and give it a name I'm gonna just call it again basics.git and it's gonna create a bare repository on my machine now she would see there's no working directory here only the internals so if I go back to here you would see that there's a basics git so this is the URL that you need to used to create a local uh, repository of it but just by doing this it's still no different from the uh, local protocol because we haven't done anything special this is still on my machine so if I go here just one folder up and say git clone and do this you would see that it would fail the repository is not found so we still need to configure it a little bit so going back to the sites folder i'll jump into that basics and run git update dash server dot info so what's this going to do it's going to create some references for this um uh, bare repository as you can see there's none here if I run that, you would see that the reference are created. So going back on the local directory where I want to clone another local copy. So if I just say git clone, instead of naming it that way, I'm going to give it a different directory. So HTTP basics. As you could see, uh, it was able to create the local repository on my machine. So if I go to that folder and say git remote v, it would show that the origin of our, the remote repository is the new HTTP protocol. Um, but there's a flaw on the DUM protocol. So the DUM HTTP protocol only allows read access. So I could only read um, files from it. I cannot. Uh, push changes into it. So if I quickly try to create another file here and add that and then commit it, I could commit locally. Um, added add blah. I could commit locally, but I won't be able to push it to the remote repository. That's because the dumb HTTP doesn't allow that. So what you need instead is to use the smart HTTP protocol, which is basically a 
uh, authenticated method of uh, pushing in fetching um, data or you could use uh, git which is also authenticated or you could use uh, ssh so those topics will cover on the next video so that's it for now so hope you like this video um hit the thumbs up hit thumbs down uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel cheers bye for now